Good morning, YouTube. Oops, sorry, I'm not flipping you on. Good morning, YouTubers. It is 1.55 a.m. Wednesday, the 27th of February. There's only one day left of February in the year of 2013. And we are now on part 7 of Christ, the Way, the Truth, and the Life, Chapter 4. How Christ is made use of for justification as a way. Number five, in some it may be yet weaker, going out in strong and vehement hungers, hungerings, Matthew 5, 6, par, par, parallel translations would be the New International Version, copyright 1984, all rights reserved. And I normally use this version. If, by any chance, there is another version, I will tell you what version it is. Again, Matthew 5, 6 states, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. The man dare not say that he doth believe or that he doth adhere to Christ and stay upon him, yet he dare say he longeth for him, and panteth after him as ever. The heart doth after the water brooks. Psalm 42, verse 1 and 2, in the English Standard Version, 1, as a deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. Two, my soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? He hunger and thirsteth for him, and cannot be satisfied with anything without him. Number six, in some it may be so weak that the soul can only perceive it, perceive the heart looking out after him. Upon little more ground than a, than a maybe, it shall be helped. Isaiah 45, 22 states, Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, and there is no other. They took to him for salvation, being convinced that there is no other way, and resolved to follow no other way. They resolved to lie at his door, waiting and looking for a sight of the king's face, and to lie waiting till they die, if no better may be. 7. In some it may be so weak that nothing more can be perceived but a satisfaction with the terms of the covenant, a willingness to accept of the bargain, and a heart consenting thereunto, though they dare not say that they actually close therewith, yea, nor dare, or nor dare say that they shall be welcome. Rev Revelation 22:17 states. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come. Whoever is thirsty, let him come. And whoever wishes, let him take the free gifts of the water of life. Number eight. If some, it may be so weak and low that they cannot say, that they have any right hunger or desire after him, nor that their heart doth rightly and really consent to the covenant of grace, yet they would fain be at it and cry out, Oh, for a willing heart, oh, for ardent desires, 
oh for a right hunger and they are dis dissatisfied and cannot be recon reconciled with their hearts for not desiring more, hungering more, consenting more so that if they had this they would think themselves happy and upmade and thus we see their faith is so low that it appeareth in nothing more manifestly than in their complainings of the want of it. So then the poor weak believer needeth not to be so far discouraged as to despair and give over the matter as hopeless and lost. Let him hang on depend and wait. A weak faith today may become stronger with a short time. He that laid the foundation can and will finish the building for all his works are perfect. And a weak faith, when true, will prove sand and lay hold on a saving strong mediator. Mediator. Moreover, as to the acting of faith on Christ's death and sacrifice for the stopping the mouth of conscious law, Satan, and for the opposing to the pursuing justice of God because of sin, it may sometimes be strong, distant, clear and resolute, at other times again be weak, mixed, or accompanied with much fear, perplexity, doubting, distrust, because of their own seen unworthiness, many feelings, doubting of their sincerity, of their repentance, and the like. This is a main business and of great concernment, yet many are not much troubled about it, nor exercised at the heart hereabout as they ought, deceiving themselves with foolish imaginations, for, one, they think they are believers all their days, they never, doubt, they never doubted of God's grace and goodwill, they had always a good heart for God, they never knew what awakened conscience or sense of wrath of God meant. Two, or they think because God is merc merciful, he will not be so severe as to stand upon all those things that ministers require, forgetting that he is just God and a, good, and a God of truth that will do according to what he hath said. 3. Or they suppose it is an easy matter to believe and not such a difficult thing as it is called, not considering or believing that no less power that which raised Christ from the dead will work up that heart unto faith. 4. Or they resolve that they will do it afterward, at some more convenient season, not perceiving the cunning flight of Satan in this, nor considering that faith is not in their power, but the gift of God, and that if they lay not hold on the call of God, but harden their heart in this day, God may judically blind them, so that these things shall be hid from their eyes, and so that occasion they pretend to wait for never come. And I am going to end it there, because we have verses coming up, and I want to be able to read them, and I'm already at nine minutes. So I won't be able to. Yeah, I know I'm talking again. Yada, yada, yada. The old bat's talking. Alright, my fellow brothers and sisters. Peace be with you. 
I love you guys. Shalom.